This is Mallory and I, who's the art teacher here at JFK. We decided to collaborate and see if the community was interested in doing a mural here at JFK that represented student voices and that could serve as evidence of students working together to make our community better. So we proposed this project to NEF, to the Local Arts Council, to Northampton Prevention Coalition, and to the school committee, and gained immense and really positive support. So Michelle, Mallory, and I both worked with students from JFK who had signed up to work with us to come up with themes for the mural, brainstorm, talk, discuss our community and what we wanted to make better, how we wanted to change it, what we wanted to see differently, and the things that we appreciated about the school community and the Northampton community. And this mural is very important to the community because it represents transformation, and transformation is a large component in a, any community. Art is a good way to express your feelings and your emotions. Kids learn and grow together, and it's really good through a project because they have to cooperate and form ideas and get somewhere with their ideas and their talking. Um, and so I think this is a really good project for these kids because they really get to learn about what they like and how to talk to other kids. And I mean, it's fun too. <laughs> and we came up with the theme of transformation as our guiding principle. Students chose the symbol of the butterfly to represent transformation and from there we started to draw and we did collaborative drawings and ended up with a basic design. I then worked with student drawings and student input to create a design in Photoshop. We worked on taking the four sheets of canvas and taping it up on the huge wall behind the stage here at JFK and students worked really hard at transferring all the line shapes and colors, pretty much labeling the whole map of the mural. And then we took those four sheets of canvas and we brought them to the art rooms and we brought them outside or attempted to paint outside with the wind and took pre-labeled colors that Heather and I worked at trying to achieve with exterior uh, paints. And they took their labeled color, brought it to the labeled part of the mural and painted that section and it needed multiple coats. We projected the image on Tuesday and, and painted Wednesday through Friday during April vacation. So what you see on the wall and outside of JFK this spring is really a truly collaborative effort. The theme is metamorphosis as written on the corner of this mural to make it obvious. The kids painting the flowers are working together and the flowers were made to show how uh, a small group or, com or community can build something beautiful. But the rocks actually are really important because they represent stability and having something to start from. It was fun because I actually had a lot of freedom to be like creative and I got to make my own butterfly. Who you are will change a little bit as you grow up more and more, but you will always still be you. It just speaks to who I think we are at JFK and who our students are and the process of coming up with the themes. It's, it's timeless and it's stunning and it, it, it's just amazing. I really enjoyed working with middle schoolers as well as the art teachers and teachers involved. Um, it was great to see these kids you know, mess around with the paint, um, see what they liked, and so very glad to be here. So I just wanted to address for one more moment um, the recognizable figures in the mural, because um, as I mentioned, so Kelsey posed as the central figure, but in order to understand why we did this, it's important that you all know that this person is not just Kelsey. Um, you know, students have been referring to the figure as Kelsey, which I understand it's just easier to call a person a name. Um, you know, for example, while we were painting, uh, Mrs. Mallory and I would of often refer to the standing figure on the right here, this guy who's pushing, holding up this other person. We just call him Emil, this one over here. We just call him Emil because that's Emil. That's Emil right over there. You know, it's easier. 
However, it's not just a meal. It's not accurate. You know, it's, um, this mural is not a portrait of an individual. These people, Kelsey, Emil, Shay is another one in the mural. She's a sixth grader. And others posed for these pictures, but when we painted them and we made them larger and public, each of their images transformed into more than just an image of an individual. They become a symbol or a representation. They are now Emil, Kelsey, and Shay, but also there are other people, other girls and boys, other youth in our community who I hope can see themselves represented in this work of art. As viewers of art, we are participants in it. We are a part of it. We're not just out here separate from it. We are part of it. And um, because art is not finished, just because you're putting a brush, you're not putting the brush to the canvas anymore, once public art is displayed, its life is just beginning. So this mural is gonna last 20 years, maybe more, maybe a lot more. As community members, it's now our job to find ourselves inside of this painting. So I encourage you to bring your neighbors, young children, grandparents, to see the mural and ask them, what do you see? And that should change over time. And I'm excited to see that. So consider the quote on the mural by Eleanor Roosevelt. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Sometimes when things are not going great, you know, like Kelsey mentioned, it can be difficult to remain hopeful and committed to our goals, but we must have a vision for the future. And I'd like to add that although it, this is often how we think about children and young people, uh, this is equally true for adults. So we've been talking a lot as teachers this year about having a growth mindset, which to me means that we believe in the possibility of a different future and the inherent potential that people have for change. So if we can believe in our dreams, if we can let ourselves be inspired, if we can see ourselves as the caterpillars, told you I was gonna get gushy, finding our way towards becoming the butterfly as people who are growing and changing towards what we want our collective future to look like, if we can work together and believe both in ourselves and in each other, then the future belongs to us. So the visionaries are the ones who decide the future. So in honor of our many visionaries here today, one more round of applause for everybody who's involved in this project. I did work on like some brainstorming, uh, painting, basically a whole, like a mix of all things. And how does it feel to have the mural be done? Uh, it's like an accomplishment. <laughs> In the beginning, I was nervous to talk to somebody. I was like, should I go over there near them? They're trying to paint. But now I'm just like, hey, can we just move this a little bit and we can do it together? And that's why that's mm -hmm. Yeah, personally, I think that over the months, I've made more friends. And throughout the grades, I've made more friends, too. So, yeah. Do you have a favorite part of the mural? Um, definitely the flowers, because they're so complex and there's so many different colors in it. Well, I like the butterflies that we did. <laughs> we worked on these four monarch butterflies that it took a long time to work on, but I think we did a good job. How does it feel to see it completed? It's kind of rewarding, like to know that we did that and that's our mural that us students made. I'm actually really excited for how long it's gonna be there. And then I'm just gonna have my thumbprint right in the corner and it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. <laughs>